Welcome to the Focus 5 Text Unpacking with Visual Supports. With Common Core and college and career readiness standards, texts have become more rigorous. Additionally, we've shifted our focus to deeper critical thinking. But before students can read between the lines of a text, it is important for them to first comprehend the text. As educators, we know how to gain access to a text even if it is incredibly challenging. This strategy teaches students how to find points of access and the steps they can take on their own to gain access, even if it is only partial access at first. The first step is selecting a text to unpack. Number one, start with a text you are already using. Number two, identify a paragraph that students find challenging to understand. And finally, number three, consider the objective or goal of reading the text. The steps for how to unpack a text include, one, provide students with a purpose for reading, two, build background knowledge, three, pre-teach vocabulary, four, preview the text, and five, read for meaning. For this particular lesson, we have selected this document, which is from an eighth grade social science DBQ. We've also developed a graphic organizer that incorporates the text unpacking steps we've just reviewed. Let's get started with the lesson. This purpose for reading was actually posed as a question at the end of the DBQ text. As adept readers, we know how to look at end questions to find our own purpose. Making this purpose explicit for students allows them to narrow their focus to the parts that are relevant. For this text, our purpose for reading is, when we read this text, we are looking for evidence of the environmental impact of westward expansion. I like to present the purpose for reading in student-friendly terms as well. For this lesson, I've added the second sentence. In other words, how did settlers affect the animals, plants, and people? Another way to develop a student-friendly purpose would be to have students discuss what the purpose means and record ideas from the class. The next step is to have students add the purpose to their graphic organizer. Another option is to print the graphic organizer with the purpose pre-filled in the middle oval. Building background is an important step for our English learners, as they often do not have the same contextual knowledge our students who have been in the U.S. schools since kinder have. Using an image is a safe place to start because all students are able to comment on what they see. It is up to the teacher to validate and curate student contributions as they record on the graphic organizer. To build background, I've selected an image of the Oregon Trail from history.com. Students generally describe the covered wagons, people traveling together, how it looks like a difficult trip based on the terrain, the weather. In this lesson, students are asked what they already know about westward expansion as well. Next, I ask students what they know about westward expansion. Typical responses include, people came to the west for property or for gold. Some tie in what they know about manifest destiny and how settlers wanted to develop land from coast to coast. As the teacher records this information, students should also copy it down on their own graphic organizer. Step number three is pre-teaching vocabulary. The goal of pre-teaching vocabulary is to help clarify words or phrases you believe students may not know. Often these are academic terms, archaic words, are words that have more than one meaning. I have selected for this lesson words that stand out and may get in the way of students comprehending the text. I have also selected words that I know are the impact that the settlers had on the environment. One of the best ways to pre-teach vocabulary is to provide visual images. Other options, especially if time is an issue, is to have students select a couple of words that they are unfamiliar with and look for meaning or clarify meaning as the teacher. As you record what students share, write information down on the graphic organizer. When students look up words in the dictionary, often the definition provided includes words that the students are unfamiliar with. One solution is to use Longman Dictionary for English Learners, which can be located online, which provides student-friendly definitions. For this graphic organizer, I record student-friendly definitions provided by the class, which are based on the images from the prior screen. For Degenerate, students often say, make things worse. 
Exterminated means to kill. Decimated means destroyed. And finally, bovine means cow. Students often overlook text features. These particular features are excellent for textbook articles or stories. For this DBQ text, I use the title and the end question to develop the purpose for reading. Although visuals and bolded vocabulary were not part of this text initially, these were added for this lesson. Closed reading is an excellent way to allow English learners or struggling readers to join the reading in a safe way. Because I've projected this on the screen, I will read the black text and students are able to read phrases in red. If you are not projecting a text, students would simply read the next word each time you pause. Let's read this together. Carrying their preconceived notions about these settlers transformed the native grassland ecology by planting crops such as wheat and corn. The overgrazing by combined with these crops to degenerate native species habitats, including bison, wolves, and coyotes. Local animals, especially the bison, which grazed across the Great Plains in huge herds, were seen as restrictions to allowing for this creature to be systematically exterminated. The introduced animals reduced the on the plains as their dietary requirements and water consumption overlapped with the bison's own needs for survival. Bison numbers were also decimated, the transference of bovine diseases such as. However, the declining bison numbers would also impact upon Native Americans' food supplies and existence. This was especially the case for the Plains Indians, who as nomads followed the bison herds across the grasslands. Typically, this is the stage of the lesson that I have students work collaboratively to find evidence that pertains to the purpose for reading. For this particular text, I can have students find evidence of any environmental impact. Another option is to jigsaw and have groups or pairs find impacts the settlers had on either animals, plants, or people. Students typically note that animals, including bison, wolves, and coyotes, were killed by not having enough food, by diseases, and because the settlers exterminated them. Plants, they find that the grasslands were destroyed when the cows ate too much. And finally, people, generally students find the Plains Indians died because they relied on the bison for survival. As students continue to grow and learn to apply this skill, they will learn how to gain access to difficult text, even if they are able to find only one piece of evidence. Finally, the bottom of the graphic organizer can be used to revisit the purpose for reading. Students are able to refer back to the reading for meaning section in order to write their response. And this concludes text unpacking.